Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. It's your favorite neighborhood critic back at it again. And oh boy, do I have a royal tea party for you today? Grab your crumpets and settle in, because we're about to dive into a family drama so juicy, it makes the Real Housewives look like a kindergarten squabble. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, come on guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now, it's Prince Harry's 40th birthday. The big 4-0, the kind of milestone that usually calls for a bash so grand it would make Gatsby blush. But instead of clinking champagne flutes with his big bro William, our ginger prince is reportedly off to some swanky California retreat, probably learning how to align his chakras or something equally LA. Now, let's rewind a hot second. Remember when Harry turned 30? It was all polo matches and cheeky grins, with William right by his side, probably cracking jokes about Harry's receding hairline. Fast forward a decade, and it's like we're living in an alternate universe. One where Harry traded his royal duties for a life of avocado toast and therapy sessions, leaving poor Wills holding the royal bag. But here's where it gets spicy, folks. Word on the street, and by street, I mean the whispers of royal experts, is that William might just make a surprise move on Harry's big day. And let me tell you, I am living for this drama. Now, before you get too excited, we're not talking about William jetting off to Montecito with a giant cake and a mariachi band, though, let's be honest, that would be epic. No, this surprise move is probably going to be more along the lines of a stiffly worded birthday tweet, or maybe, if we're really lucky, a pre-recorded video message that's about as warm as a British summer. But here's the kicker. Apparently this gesture, whatever it may be, will be done through gritted teeth. Can you picture it? William, sitting in some ornate palace room, probably surrounded by corgis, forcing out a happy birthday, Harry, like he's passing a kidney stone. It's the royal equivalent of your mom making you apologize to your sibling when you don't really mean it. Now let's talk about our birthday boy for a hot second. Harry, oh Harry, the spare heir who decided to go rogue. He's out there in sunny California, probably sipping on some green juice, talking about how he's excited about turning 40. Excited? Really, Harry? When I turned 40, I was excited about my kids finally learning to flush the toilet. But I guess when you're a prince, even in exile, your milestones hit different. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the irony of Harry waxing poetic about showing up and doing good in the world? I mean, kudos for the sentiment, but mate, you literally stopped showing up. You packed your bags, said cheerio to the monarchy, and rode off into the Californian sunset faster than you can say Meg sit. Speaking of Megan, the elephant in the room, or should I say, the actress in the palace. Our American princess turned royal rebel is conspicuously absent from all this birthday chatter. Is she planning some grand surprise, or is she too busy plotting their next Netflix series? Harry at 40, the prince who lived uh, in Montecito. But let's not forget the real victims in all this, little Archie and Lilibet. These poor kids are growing up in a world where their uncle is basically a stranger, and their cousins are more like mythical creatures they hear about in bedtime stories. Once upon a time in a land far, far away called England, you had cousins named George, Charlotte, and Louis. Now, I'm not taking sides here. Okay, maybe I am, just a little. But you've got to admit this whole situation is messier than a toddler eating spaghetti. On one hand, you've got Harry, living his best California life, talking about personal growth and making the world a better place. On the other, you've got William, stuck carrying the weight of the monarchy on his increasingly gray-haired head. And caught in the middle? King Charles probably stress-eating his organic biscuits and wondering where he went wrong. I mean, imagine having to celebrate your son's 40th from a distance. It's like the world's most awkward long-distance relationship, only with more crowns and less FaceTime. But here's what really gets me. This idea that whatever upsets Harry has caused will be forgotten for the day. I'm sorry, but have these people met the royal family? These are the same folks who can hold a grudge longer than the Queen's reign. Forgetting upsets for a day is about as likely as the Tower of London turning into a bouncy castle. And let's not even get started on the whole traitor narrative. I mean, is Harry really a traitor for wanting a different life? Or is he just a guy who looked at the whole royal circus and said, Nah, I'm good. 
It's not like he sold state secrets to the Americans. Although, if Meghan's master plan was to infiltrate the royal family and steal their tea-making secrets, then mission accomplished, I guess. At the end of the day, this whole situation is just sad. We're watching a family fall apart in real time, only with better outfits and more press coverage. It's like a Shakespeare play, only with more Instagram posts and less iambic pentameter. So what's the takeaway from all this royal ruckus? Maybe it's that even princes have midlife crises. Maybe it's that family drama is universal, whether you live in a castle or a cul-de-sac. Or maybe, just maybe, it's that we should all be a little kinder to each other, even when we're gritting our teeth so hard we could crack walnuts. As for Harry's 40th, well, I hope he has a good one. I hope William finds it in his heart to reach out, even if it's just a text that says HBD bro with a crown emoji. And I hope, somewhere in all this mess, these two brothers remember that they're more than just princes, they're family. So what do you think, YouTube fam? Is William right to be furious? Is Harry really just Meghan's puppet? Or is this all just a royal tempest in a very expensive teapot? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.